WrestlingInc.com, Wrestling Inc.'s YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share. How could you not? Josh Eisenberg up from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Drew Springsteen back after his uh, hiatus. Uh, oh, Whoa. well, well was, wow. the mumps or herpes. We weren't going to talk about his stuff. On Gunneria? That. Oh. You got it mixed up. I don't know. Gunneria? You come, you come back, Young Bucks jacket and New Jack shirt. I'll do what I can. Semen and blood. Thank you, Lemke. <laughs> All together in one. All right. You ready for this one? Oh, let's go. You ready for this let's one? Go. Everybody together. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it is time to get woke in Matt Hardy after uh, much anticipation since returning to WWE back at WrestleMania in the spring. Finally, uh, it seems we are going to get the broken, woken uh, combination of Matt Hardy. Uh, and they shocked us. I think we all were waiting to see him back in front of a live crowd. We get the pre-tape promo. Just as good. But exactly. If not better. If not better. The fact that they were in LA, the huge, they, the crowd loved it. I mean, I, I saw videos of the crowd popping for yeah. it, like from the stands. They couldn't have got a better reaction there. I could hear him over the video. It was great. And I thought it, at the end it might be a little awkward for them just laughing and laughing and laughing. Went over <laughs> the crowd well, loved it. It was great. Yeah, and the funny thing is, this is the first Bray Wyatt promo that I've not gotten bored of in the past six months. And why? Because Matt Hardy's different. He's unique. He's a guy that gets his character and goes 1,000%. Yeah. And he's not always doing and saying the same things, which makes Matt Hardy likable. And this gimmick isn't supposed to be a likable gimmick. It's supposed to be odd, weird, and you don't understand it. Kind of like Ultimate Warrior. So maybe it happens like that where he's just as successful. An Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> Comparison to Ultimate Warrior. I'm sure I mean, their promos are very, um, very mumbling, very That's out of not, this world. I understand what he's saying. Yeah, Juice bit, does. Yeah. Justin doesn't. I'm sure Matt it's will appreciate the haircut. it. It's a good haircut. Yeah, it's not it's bad. good. You won't it's touch average. it. I'm not touching it. Nobody touch it. wants to touch your scalp. Touch um, Put more makeup on it. It looks good. There's no makeup on it. He's a polished cheater now. All right, so welcome, Matt Hardy. Um, I, you know, yeah, it, it might have been better having the pre tape. It kind of almost now builds this uh, anticipation to see him out in the live crowd, to see him do whatever he's going to do. I, you know, and I, I would be for milking this for a few more weeks. You know, they're doing a live Raw on Christmas, you have New Year's. Those are always usually tough shows to fill. You've got six to seven weeks before Rumble. They don't have yeah. a pay-per-view like SmackDown does, and I was interested to see what they were going to do, and I thought maybe they'd hold off on this Matt Hardy thing, but now with all this time, well, why not do it now? And what they can do is, uh, in those two or three weeks, do pre-tape promos, um, maybe do something where they're, Hardy's they're at testing the Hardy it out. compound. Yeah. Something that's not him in a blue curtain, even though I thought that was a perfect beginning for it, because I think we felt that it was going to happen, but we weren't sure how it was going to happen. So you bring him now, you bring Bray Wyatt. Now, Bray Wyatt's best ability might not be in the ring, it might be his backstage promos, but now you're getting more creative freedom because you're entering in Matt Hardy. Well, and that's what's going to be, what I'm going to watch for is that the, this will entertain us on all the promos and all the build, is what the match will look like, you know, what the yeah. payoff is. That's what I'll be interested to see, is what's going to be the real payoff here because, um, you know, Rumble's next. So Rumble's always a little bit of a crapshoot because everybody's all everybody with the exception of a few people all that are the champions all have the same goal right to mm -hmm. win Rumble. So it's like, is the payoff going to be the, you know a, a Monday Night Raw we build to? I think one of them takes the other one out at Royal Rumble and just I think they make this go as long as humanly possible because they know the money's there and the yeah. Wyatt thing is the first real good test for the Woken character. And, and I think can, maybe Finn Balor down the line, but this is a good start. Yeah, and what you can also do is think about it like this: if they want to expedite the process, which I'm agreeing with you, I don't think they should. They should milk it for as long as they can and with a character like Matt Hardy that's pretty new to the general WWE universe yeah. they could do that they can build upon that bringing in you know senior Benjamin or bringing in his wife or his son whatever they want to do but if they want to expedite it what they could do is they could do a few that they did with Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt a couple of years ago where, where Bryan was part of the Wyatt family in that match obviously Which I took hated. place I hated Which too I hated. but it, it gave you match, that though. bump that that 6 weeks between you know Christmas and and into R the Royal Rumble where you're not getting just two championship matches and, and the Br the Bryan thing felt old school ish and that's what these things yes, kind of feel Exactly. Like. And, and really they have so much time. It's like the old days where you had eight weeks for a Considering favorite. the fact they're giving Matt creative control, which you kind of have to, because not you can't only he can write these promos. You give him an outline, he's going to write it. That's what they did Monday. Considering he has creative control, I want to see Matt Hardy make Santa Claus woken. They always have to <laughs> every year for Christmas. Either somebody runs over Santa, somebody stuns Santa, something happens on the Christmas shows. I want to see somehow Matt Hardy. Uh, speak in only Matt well, woke in Matt Hardy terms well, to Santa. Claus. Well, let me ask you this though: Do you have Senior Benjamin? Do you have his wife? Do you have his? Do, no. do you get these pieces involved? Or is it no. just Matt? Not Hardy? yet. No, or is it somebody else that we don't know about? Maybe up at NXT that comes up and joins his family. First off, I don't want to see. Any, first, I, uh, at least initially, I don't want to see Matt with anybody else. Yeah. I think Matt needs to do this solo. You know, it was a different dynamic 
previous at WWE, that, you know, I mean, it worked, you know, Rebbe playing the piano. But he's the, talking about his soldiers. I he's know. talking about the people that he's waking up with Well, you know what? Well, you know there what? has to be. You know what? Have, for you know, be, for, yeah, for, for mid-90s, yeah, yeah. Shawn Michaels, the click was, was Diesel, Razor, and Hunter, and Kid, and then all of a sudden on TV, click just became the fans. To Undertaker, the creatures of the night was the fans. Let his soldiers be the fans. I don't want to bring in, and this is nothing against Rebbe, Senior, or Benjamin, or them, I don't want to bring them in right now. I don't want to, the wacko that needs followers is Bray. <laughs> Bray's That's the one true. who needs the followers. Needs I think help. Matt Solo stands out. I don't want to see anybody with Matt uh, until Jeff's healthy and l play off of that however you want. And do you think this is finally what Bray Wyatt needs? Win or loss, whenever this it does, goes, but what happens when Matt's done that's with, him? with him? Yeah. <laughs> you know? What happens when Matt Matt is the one that actually gets over? Because I think WWE yep. realized that Matt is the guy that. Everybody wants to see succeed again. Everybody wants to see him be maybe not a main event guy, but a guy that could potentially use this feud to spin off and face a Bray, uh, face a Finn Balor. And they had transformed what Bray Wyatt used to be. We won't mention his name uh, into this kind of character. Just kind of like an interesting thing, and nothing really happened. Matt Hardy did kind of the yeah. same type thing, and he's gotten over huge. So now that they're finally did you not want to say Husky Harris? No, I did not. Oh, okay, why I'm not? not a mark. Um, I'm not a mark. Well, sure. Um, <laughs> most truthful thing I've said on this show. Get the, the hell out of here. Here's Too the thing, sweet. you know, we're we're gonna over the next few weeks, you know, we're gonna you know talk about the year interview, year ahead, and we'll make bold predictions. I, I'll say this right now, if I'm Bray Wyatt, you're probably happy right now that you have that you're involved in what people are talking about the most, essentially. But if I'm Bray Wyatt, I'm also concerned because Matt Hardy might do Bray Wyatt better than Bray Wyatt can do Bray yep. Wyatt, yeah. if that makes sense. It so does. if I'm Bray Wyatt, you know, you this better be challenging Bray Wyatt to figure out, okay. How can I capitalize off this? And Matt will do business. Matt will make him look as good as he can look in whatever the ultimate outcome is here. But if I'm Bray Wyatt, I better, I'm thinking, there's somebody here that does me a little bit better. And this is the first feud I think that Bray Wyatt has had in quite some time where we're saying he's the underdog. Because we've always oh, talked yeah. about, well, this could help get Bray Wyatt over. The Randy Orton feud, yeah. the Daniel Bryan feud. Like, this is going to be the feud that gets Bray Wyatt to the top. Right now, he's not the guy that people want to see succeed. It's Matt Hardy. Woken Matt Hardy. Yeah. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Coming up next, an old school favorite as Josh and I will get fired up on an array of topics. Don't miss it. Make sure you comment, subscribe, do what you got to do. Why? It's CSR on Wrestling Inc. <laughs>